All right, this is uh, Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 8. And in this lesson, we're going to be continuing that idea of 10, using 10s in order to subtract. Only this time we're going to be decomposing uh, when otherwise we would need to borrow, but that's kind of later in the year. Uh, so this is really unique. I love how they do this. Um, for example, if we have like a 21 minus 7, okay, ordinarily students would, might need to borrow or they might need to you know, figure out 7 plus what equals 21. And right now for second graders, that's just not quite uh, the most efficient way to do it. So what students are going to be doing is they're going to take 21 and they're going to decompose it, in this case, with a 10. And there's our 10 and then they can subtract because we really want students, the whole concept of making tens, either through addition or using tens to subtract. That's such, this right here, the number 10 is so super duper important. Um, I just can't say enough about it. But anyway, so getting back to our problem, so we've decomposed 21 to 11 and 10, and now we can see that 10 minus 7 is 3, plus our original 11 gives us 14. So that's the idea of how we are going to uh, subtract using decomposition, specifically using that super important number 10. All right, here's three examples just to show you what we're talking about. So I, ideally, we want the students to first notice that, oh, we've got two units, and we're going to subtract seven units. Something's got to give, right? And uh, rather than teaching them how to borrow, we're going to teach them right now, we're going to teach them how to decompose in a smart way. So we're going to decompose 42 to 42 plus 10. Now we can subtract the 7. So 10 minus 7 is 3. So 42 plus 3 gives us the correct answer of 45. All right, let's do 71 minus 8. So 71 minus 8, we're going to decompose to 61 and 10. And now we can subtract 10 minus 8. That gives us 2. So 61 plus 2 gives us 63. And then the last one on this slide, we're going to decompose 42 to 32 and 10. Now we can subtract our 8, so 10 minus 8 is 2. So 32 plus 2 gives us the correct answer of 34. All right. And so the idea is we're going to be, when the students recognize that, uh, for example, I'll do 32 minus 8, when they recognize that we don't have enough units here to subtract 8 units, so we're going to have to use decomposition at this point uh, to decompose so that we can then subtract. And here's a word problem just to put this all into practice. So Dane has 22 cans. His mother took seven cans. How many cans does Dane have left? And we're going to draw a picture, and we're going to write a number sentence. So first off, a picture. Well, we could, if we wanted to, we could draw 22 cans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that makes 20 and 2. And then we can cross off 5 cans. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can see that these are gone and these are gone. And so we can definitely see that the answer is 10 plus 7, which is 17. So we definitely know that the answer is 17. But let's use, uh, oh, and then so the number sentence would be 22 minus 5 equals 17. And if we wanted to, we could use the um, number bond to show that. It doesn't specifically say so, but let's do it. So we've got 
22 minus 5. We're going to decompose that to 12 and 10. 10 minus 5 is 5, plus the original 12 gives us 17. And at that point, this is how we are going to be subtracting, um, kind of in a way that requires borrowing, but without actually borrowing. Instead, we are decomposing. Ultimately, students are going to learn the standard algorithm, but just not at this point.